On the afternoon of March the 16th of 1989, Tanetta Carlisle was walking home from school, then vanished. She was last seen walking down the street towards her family's home, then seen forced into a vehicle, but was never seen again. So what happened? Was she abducted, run away, or something more sinister at play? Stick around as we discuss the vanishing of Tanetta Carlisle. Chattanooga, Tennessee, located in the southeastern part of Tennessee, which is set along the Tennessee River in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, also home to the first Coca-Cola bottling company, which is located on 17 Market Street. Chattanooga has a wide range of historical and scenic locations, such as the Lookout Mountain Incline Runway, as well as the Hunter Museum, which is known to have one of the largest collections of American art in the country. This is where Tanetta Carlisle was raised. Tanetta was born on August 28th of 1973. Tanetta was blessed with a loving and close-knit family to which she has siblings that are loving and kind. Tanetta's mom, Noni Sturdivant, describes her as charismatic, upbeat, bubbly, and a friendly person who loved music. She enjoys artists like Bobby Brown and also listened to rap music. She loved to make everyone laugh around her. Tanetta was a typical teenager who was very disciplined. Tanetta attended Chattanooga High School, which was located at 615 Hamilton Avenue at that time. March 16th of 1989 was like any other school day for Tanetta. Tanetta would typically walk to and from school, which was a mile away from her family home. It would usually take around 20 minutes for her to make it home. But around 3 p.m. that day would be different. A woman who was located on Ruth Street, who was near Hamilton Avenue, glanced up the hill and saw Tanetta walking down the hill when she witnessed a tan and yellow vehicle pulling up to Tanetta. She would then see unidentified individuals jumping out of the vehicle then forcibly pulling Tanetta inside of the vehicle, then drive away. The woman would immediately then get into her own vehicle with her husband, then follow the vehicle for as long as she could. The couple managed to get the license plate number, then contact the authorities with what they witnessed. While the authorities receive this information, Tanetta's mom is waiting for her daughter to come home. Sadly, that day would never come. Eight hours would pass and no word from Tanetta. Tanetta's mom grew concerned, so she decided to reach out to the Chattanooga Police Department to file a missing persons report on Tanetta. The authorities would then, however, fail to connect the two reports together. When the authorities finally connected the two reports, they then checked the license plate number to the vehicle seen by the couple, which belonged to a man named Jeffrey Jones. Jeffrey Jones had recently served time in prison for sexual assault. Jeffrey Jones reportedly assaulted two other women in his apartment just two months before Tanetta went missing. Two days after Tanetta was last seen, the authorities found Jeffrey Jones's vehicle and planned to talk to him in regards to Tanetta's disappearance. But that plan would go awry when they found Jeffrey in his vehicle deceased. It was reported that Jeffrey Jones took his own life by carbon monoxide poisoning in his vehicle. Throughout the years, there would be various speculations of Tanetta's whereabouts such as being sold into prostitution in California and sites of her in Minnesota and even in housing projects in Alton Park, Tennessee. The Chattanooga police did follow up on the prostitution ring theory by reaching out to the authorities in California where the ring was said to be. But after the California police investigated, 
they didn't find Tanetta. But on August the 20th of 2019, the officials would take closer look into Tanetta's case. The officials would make a public appeal for anyone who knew Jeffrey Jones in 1989 to come forward with information to the investigators. The investigators would stress to the public that no matter how insignificant the information may seem to them, it is valuable and of help to the cold case team. It is imperative to find the others involved in the abduction and to prosecute them for their role in this crime. Throughout the years, Tanetta's mom did give up hope in finding her daughter alive and found her own closure in this case, but still maintains the same phone number. However, the fact remains that someone knows something and it is time to deliver answers to the family. If anyone knows or has any information into Tanetta's case, it is encouraged to reach out to the authorities, which will be provided in the description box. As always, thank you for spending some of your time here at the True Crime Spot. We'll see you in the next video.